What's up everyone? I noticed there are a ton of videos on YouTube about changing the air filter in your Model 3, but I thought they were all getting a little bit long. So I'm gonna make this one real quick about how to do it, and uh, more importantly, to help you decide if you need to. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. I'm gonna quickly show you how many miles are on my car to help you judge if you need to make this change as well. So I got my car in October of 2018, little birthday present for myself. Uh, it is now August of 2020, so we're a little over two years uh, on the timer and 13,892 miles on the clock. According to the internet, this should be a really simple process. All you need is uh, the replacement filters, a screwdriver, and a T20 bit to remove a single screw. Let's dive in. Well, I'm gonna apologize in advance for any unflattering shots here, but first things we gotta do is pull out my floor mats. Uh, these are by Tuck's Mat. I love them. I'll leave a link in, in the details below, but have done a really good job of keeping things clean. So let's get that out of the way. The next thing, there's a panel right here. Um, apparently, you just got to kind of dig your hand behind there and pop it out. So that comes out pretty easy. Uh, trick is start at the front side and pull backwards. Don't don't worry about these little clips, they're hard to break. They come right off and you can get new ones if you need them. So the filter is back in here, so you've gotta get this cable out of the way. I'm always worried about these clips because you really don't wanna break anything that's attached to wire, but this one comes right off. These ones up here, a bit more difficult, so I went and got the persuader and I'll try and get in there. So they put up a fight, but they do come off. And it turns out, based on the location, you actually need to pull off a panel that's right up here. It's got these little clips. Kind of just grab it with your fingernails. You can also use the persuader if you need it. In this case, I'm going for it. You just pop the piece down, it'll come right out. That frees the clip up to pull out, and then you can pull the panel. So four clips. Kind of just work your hand in there, pull back a little bit. Just be careful as it comes out. You got one power cable for the light, one for the little beeper thing. Um, these have pretty easy disconnects on them, but you don't want to rip a cable. All right, here's where your T20 bit comes in. And, uh, well, I had one of you guys tease me in the comments about having snap-on tools and liking that stuff. This thing's not gonna fit too big. This little guy will fit right in there. So, you know, it's all about having the right tool for the job. So this one's easy if you've got a mini screwdriver. So once that screws out, you just pull the panel off and there should be a little tab right here. And you can, oh, not the easiest thing to get out of there. Maybe there's an order of operations here. Let's pull the first one out. Yeah, so this one's on top, pull the top tab and you're gonna lift up and pull the second one out. A quick pit stop here before I put things together and go clean out those filters to see how dirty they are. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and, and leave a comment below. All three of those really help the channel, help this video, and, and help make it possible for me to keep doing these. Thanks a lot. Don't know if that wind noise got a little loud, but we'll put these back in. I don't see an arrow on them but I'm going to assume that the carbon is first because the tabs are in the same direction. So slide this one in. Just be careful to get the bottom in first. Should give it a shove down and then the next one can go in. Just make sure to hold your tabs out as you're doing this. And we put the covers back on and we can put the car back together. So there we go, old filters are out, new filters are in, a couple lessons learned, have a flashlight, have a short screwdriver. Other than that, pretty easy to do. Let's go find out how dirty these are. Well, I'm pretty sure my wife is going to kill me for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
These are the filters, that's the kitchen sink, it's white. It's gonna be the easiest thing that'll show off the dirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it real quick so we're starting fresh, no dirt. I'm gonna run some water through it from the yellow side, which is the exit, into the entrance. I'll shake them off a little bit, make sure all the dirt falls in there and we can see what it looks like. I do realize this isn't very scientific, but just enough to tell you if you should clean your filters. First things first, I'm gonna bang them out, shake them out, see what's in there, see what falls loose. Actually, quite a bit. Now let's run some water through them. I'm gonna actually just get this side wet first so it falls out, and we'll just start running it. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's run the brush a little bit. Knock all that dirt loose. Really see what was sitting in there. Well, that doesn't look clean to me. I'm not going to do uh, too much more. That's an indicator that says they probably needed changing. Well, after a ton of cleanup to make sure that sink was uh, squeaky clean so I didn't get in trouble with my wife, I decided to hop back into the car and see what Tesla recommends in terms of changing those filters. Uh, a quick jump and search into the owner's manual says every two years. So my timing was just about right. No need to take it to Tesla for this one. Just order uh, a couple of replacement filters online. Amazon's got a ton of them. I've linked uh, one below. And, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes and you should be good to go. Well, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.